Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. I'm Evan from Sagicasia. I'm Fred Rappaport from Sagicasia. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny Shuffle from East Philly. All right, so the news. Arsis have a new album coming out. Uh, they're also coming out on Nuclear Blast Records. It's called Unwelcome. Which I think the comments that they're going to follow are going to be from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guess. Uh, I'll start off by saying I watched a video about these this band talking about how Satan is forcing them to rock, and I uh, gotta say they they rocked. <laughs> uh, I it's just ridiculous to me. I mean. The, the lead singer has like a hot pink guitar and he's like making all these, yeah, he does? I mean, I'm so sexy faces. I feel like maybe I didn't watch the Is right the thing. the same band? I don't even know. I mean, but if, but if, what is the music but if not, like? it was like, um, it was like glam metal. All right, like, you got the wrong band. You got the weird. wrong band. Yeah, you got the wrong band. All right, well then, Arsis, the other band, not so, not so. Can now you? I want the video. Yeah, it's really funny. All right, so you guys should not have the same name as another band. That's why I, I, I see I think bands. Ha ha, we win. Don't you think bands? What I think before you officially name your band, you should Google it and at least metal archives. See, yeah. that's the stupid thing about like that's that complex that everyone doesn't want to talk about uh, making a band. They don't want to talk about to other bands like, oh yeah, we looked up in Google if you know. Skull Ripper was taken. Like, <laughs> yeah, so we chose to make a band that doesn't have to. Skull have Ripper to came to my nightmare one night, and I woke up and formed the band. Skull, <laughs> yeah. Skull Ripper's not a bad name for a band. <laughs> I think is there Skull a band Ripper. called Skull Ripper? Yet? I don't know. Most there there you go. You can have that, right? You, you can How have ironic! Go that for it. Ripper Ellen. Go for you, it. You had Skull Ripper. <laughs> That's I, I like Arsis. I, I um. I especially enjoyed what was their that celebration of guilt. That was one of their what's that? Their, that was their debut. I like that. And then they had fucking mm. a diamond for disease. That was a great EP. This sounded pretty much true to form. So I checked. So he out. definitely listened to the wrong. Yeah, I'm disappointed yeah. that I didn't listen to the I right artists. Because I've heard good things. I don't even like death metal usually. I I, I really literally developed really the wrong good. opinion. <laughs> All right, so he, you hated the the band of the same name, but not this band, and you love the band. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Arsis is great. Can you I say black metal elements? Is it black metal? No, it's just more death metal. Yeah, but it's high pitch. I listen to unknown. It was pretty like okay. Well, so was the last death. Labels album. are for packages. Well, tell me, tell me if you think you agree with Iron. I it reminds me of Arch Enemy. I said uh, guitar is really uh, strong. And it just, just, uh, is really good. It has a uh, strong influence by Archie Manning. Archie Manning is also like some Chuck Schoender influenced uh, guitar playing. Definitely you know, some like, Chuck going on. Yeah. Uh, vocals are cool. And this is not to be insulting, but I actually thought when I first listened to it that it was a woman doing the death metal vocals. I can see that. You know what I mean, I, I was like, oh, cool. Another, like, it's like an Archie, like, they sound like Archie Manning. And they got the chick singing, like Angela Gassa. And, that, like, and then I looked and it was like a dude. And I was like, what? And then, <laughs> then, I, then I started. Then I started believing it was a guy, but it's not to say that it sounded, I don't mean it like it sounded wimpy, it just sounded like a girl doing death metal. And yeah. That, and that's not a slight on, on anything, but that's just what it sounded like to me. I thought it was pretty unique. Yeah. And also, the one thing I thought was neat is, uh, it, and not, not a lot of bands do this, is the uh, you could understand the vocals. Yeah, they do manage to do that pretty well. Like, you know how Death started doing that? You know, they always did it, but like later on... He like put a conscious effort to try and pronunciate, uh, yeah. pronunciate all the words, so you can hear like you're doing, still doing the vocals. So maybe you have to lose some of your masculinity <laughs> when you're trying to, <laughs> to pronunciate, right? You know. Yeah. So yeah, I I like them a lot. Yeah, you know? I, I think they're a great band. What Never label? got to see them though. Hmm? Are they what label? Nuclear Blast. Yeah. All right, so that's mostly a good review. Yeah. All right, I like that. Cheers to horses. Good job.